Boom. What's good, YouTube? So today, this is going to be a free 2025 updated AI OFM course. Um, so I'm just going to be taking you through the steps to take, uh, start to finish, uh, going to be including things about market strategies, making a model, and how to just even run your fucking AI OFM agency. So let's just start. So you need to make a fucking model. Now, how are you going to make a model? Well, you're going to be using platforms like OpenArt, Sugar Labs, uh, Enhancer.ai, Kling, and Instagram as well. So all the other softwares apart from OpenArt are come later in this video anyway. But to just to make a model, you're going to need references, a LoRa, which is, you know, it's like a, it's a data set. So what a data set is, is you go onto Instagram, you'd go find a real girl and you take, you know, anywhere from 15 to 20 to 35 images of that model's face and body. Uh, <clears throat> because what this is going to do is it's going to train AI to produce images that come out looking super duper realistic. Now, if you just went away and took four images or you made your model on open art and you just train the data set from images you downloaded off open art, it's going to come out blurred in the background. It's going to give it that like 4K, like super perfect image, which just looks hella AI. Now, the reason why you're going to take images from Instagram off real girls is so it trains the AI to make images that aren't blurred in the background, that just look realistic, it looks like a real girl has taken that photo. It also sorts out things like the phone uh, the AI will be holding, uh, the toes, the fingers, it just sorts all that out and makes it so your model doesn't come out looking fucked up pretty much. So what you're going to need is you're gonna to need to go on Instagram, you're going to need to find a real girl that's in your niche. So if you're going for a young 18 looking blonde girl, then I'm sure there's fucking hundreds and thousands of them on Instagram that are hot. And you can just go on there, take their images and plug it into open art in the character section and train it to make a character that looks like that girl, but it'll be just completely AI, a little bit different. Um, what you can do is also take a mixture of different girls. So if one girl has a really nice set of tits, uh, but she hasn't got a good ass, then go find another blonde girl with a good ass. And that's what you're doing. You just mix and match, plug it in, and then you just train your character. So that is how you're going to make a model. If you want to find girls like this, just type up on Instagram, blonde Swedish girls, and come up, you'll find a shit ton of girls that are blonde, Swedish, and fit. And you can be able to take their shit and put it on and make your model. Next. So... Create model's body, I don't know why this is still in here. This should really be changed to not safe for work, creating the not safe for work. Um, because, yeah, so that, that actually should be creating a not safe for work body. Not safe for work body. So, creating the not safe for work body. Now, on open art, I don't know if you know, but you can't actually do not safe for work over on open art. So what I've found though, is when I use the image to image referencing feature with prompt and reference, uh, the prompt and reference section on open art, I can actually use um, not safe for work images and produce one-to-one -one replicas of them. Now you can't go and take a real girl's pictures and do this. Uh, I found out the hard way. If you go on fan view and you take real girl's nudes and do image to image and then produce it, flags up on their uh, detection system and they know that it's been taken from another girl's account. Ignore my fucked hair, by the way. This hat's just too tight. <clears throat> yeah, that's fucking, it's a bit better on my head. My hair, I need a fucking haircut. Um, but yeah, so don't do that. You're a fucking idiot if you do that, and you're just gonna get fucked and not paid out, which, why the fuck would you wanna do that? So, what you're gonna do is go on Sugar Lab, make a blonde model, or whatever model, uh, is going to be the same as the girl you just made on open art. So if you went and took a blonde girl shit off Instagram, created your character on open art, then on Sugar Lab, do the exact same, but make a girl who is blonde. So you create a character, use the tags, whatever, make a blonde girl and make the desired body. Medium boobs, small boobs, big boobs, massive boobs, whatever. That is how you're going to create your reference images. So you can go and make your not safe for work over on there and plug it into there. And this is exactly what I mean, is I could go and take Sophie Rain 
and then plug it into open art and produce that as my model um obviously this is pre skin enhancer so it doesn't look as realistic but this is just the power of it as you can see it hasn't just been face swapped because she's got no tattoos on her legs um and it's just a little bit it's a little bit different with the pool it hasn't got the ripples here um and the hands are just a little bit different but that is the power of image to image referencing so you can imagine if this was a not safe for work image and she was naked i could plug it into there and then develop that over onto open art now after this you're going to be doing the skin enhancer which i also haven't included in here for not fuck those reasons i'm linking all the softwares down below but there's a software called app.enhancer every single fucking image whether you're making image to video uh, pictures first or you're making not safe for work images, wall feed, safe for work, Instagram, IG images, everything goes through app.enhancer. You plug that into app.enhancer and it comes out looking like a fucking real girl. Uh, so that is another thing to bear in mind and that is what you're going to want to use. Now, you need to now build out marketing funnels. Now, how you want to do this is completely up to you, completely on your uh, under your budget. But here's just some examples. So for Instagram, obviously, you're going to be running reels. Uh, run reels, trial reels, pay promo or boosted reels. Don't really recommend doing boosted reels unless you've got a lot of money and you're prepared and you've got experience with, you know, just tracking ad spend and seeing if it's even fucking worth it. And nine times out of ten, you're going to be running a free trial anyway on your fair view just to initially get a big messaging list at least that's what i do i get as many fans in there as i can for free so i have a fat contact list of sending out mass messages sending out free trials and making people resub etc just keeping the account lively for the chatters so on instagram set up a page um obviously optimize it you need to go get a deep link as well so get all my links or anything like that plug in your fan view link in there put that in the bio and just start running reels. Now you need to just be paying attention to what is working at the minute. Uh, I've just started a new girl three days ago. She's already done 1.7 million views because I know what the fuck is working at the minute. And it's not video reels, it's image reels that are working at the minute. Just a bit of free game. I'm doing rage bait currently. Um, X, now comment baiting, paid promo or drops. What are drops? Drops are just retweet groups. And you will realistically want a good VA and a good VA manager to be doing this for you. So what I would do on X is I'd go and pay for uh, an old OF models account or an old porn account, whatever one, whatever's in your budget. I can get a 100K account for about $1,000, just brought one recently. And I'll pay a VA $500 a month along with a VA manager to put me in drops. So what that is, is it'll put you in groups and it'll just plug all your models posts in them groups into thousands of groups using a bot. And all the people in there will just retweet and push it out, getting you millions of impressions every single month. You can also do comment baiting. What is comment baiting? You're pretty much targeting other successful creators or just other creators within your girl's niche and commenting under all their, sh all their posts, all their everything, um, pretty much just stealing their engagement. That's another way. And then pay promo shout outs, but I don't really recommend that as well, just cause you can get fucked on that. Um, you just gotta be careful if you're getting your pay promo from. TikTok, now carousels. That's all I really recommend doing over there. And that's just going to be that normal images of your girl. So, you know, just selfies, uh, make sure they're consistent cause carousels obviously consist of about two to three images, at least that's what I do, just so I get a high swipe engagement rate. Uh, but what that is, is you're just gonna be running like a rage bait strategy over there, a perfect girl persona over there, a POV persona, glow ups, um, just a load of shit like that, that a normal girl would do. I find rage baiting is very fucking good, but the conversion rate with rage baiting isn't as good as perfect girl. But blowing up with the perfect girl niche um, is a lot harder because a lot more people run it. And then last but not least, grey hat strategies. Now, grey hat strategies, what are they? They're pretty much just mass outreach strategies. Now, you can run grey hat over on Fred's Instagram or even TikTok. Uh, with grey hat, it's essentially, it's, it's very lucrative. I wouldn't really be able to jump into it this whole video, but essentially with grey hat, I will scrape fucking thousands of people, thousands of targets off of other successful models over on Instagram. 
Uh, then I would then create a shit ton of Instagrams that looked like my model. And then I would then pay a VA to go out and do all the following and just target all of, the, all of those people. And then I'd have a chatting bot on that Instagram account. So every single person who follows my girl back immediately starts getting spoken to by this bot and then funneled essentially to the fan view. Um, this costs money. Uh, requires a little bit of like technical skills. You need to be getting proxies, dying servers, know how to set up Cupid bot, etc. Crane. There's a shit ton that goes into it, um, and even on threads as well. State based targeting. That's another really good fucking strategy. But I'm not going to get into it on this video. Next, how are you going to create? You know, reels. Kling AI. Kling AI is the go. It is the best for image to video creation. Um, these are, it's essential really when you're doing any any video reels or just any videos in general. Comment baiting, now like I said, these are the type of images I'd use on X. I wouldn't really use this, but I would definitely be using this. Um, they're just like a homely girl next door type of vibe, nothing too insane. Like This is too insane, but this is just more realistic, gives more of a homely feel to your model. Uh, carousels, now you can even run Facebook carousels, which do fucking work, it's just unethical. Um, or obviously you can just make images, you know, like these and use that for your face swap. Um, I recommend doing them a little bit more lifestyle though. Uh, having your girl, you know, at a dinner or just anything like that. Just something a normal girl would be posting on IG. Uh, I'd be posting that on TikTok as well. Ensure it's very safe for work because TikTok hammer down on, on anything. Like TikTok's so strict. And then pay promo. Um... You know, this is just fast track if you really wanted to do that. But yeah, <laughs> there's nothing too much more to say over there. Now, you need to make a fan view. Now, having a good fan view for converting is essential because you could do all of these strategies perfectly and then when they met with your fan view, they look at it and think, fuck that, I ain't subbing to that. Now, what makes a good fan view? Having a lot of likes on your page. Now, I've got a full SOP strategy on how to even get like boosted. Um, so essentially, if you want to start getting light boosted, you can make a shit ton of fan view accounts, verify the emails, and then have a VA go over to your model's page and like all of her images. You can imagine if she's got a hundred images posted uh, for the initial light boost, you send a hundred accounts over there, you're gonna have 10,000 likes. It's pretty simple. Um, that's what I recommend doing every single time. Obviously, this is the key component of having a lot of likes. Just because it looks like your model is desirable, she's desired, she's popular, so it's going to make or entice other men to sub to her. Your wall feed. Now, with your wall feed, you're going to want engaging captions just to entice people to either DM you or just interact with these with these images. Um, team responsible, I recommend doing this yourself uh, just because... You know, you can take your time and look at this and, you know, be very picky. Just remember, not every single AI image you're going to generate is going to be perfect. So I'd recommend you're very picky with what you put on the wall feed. What people see is what they get. So you're the one who decides that. An example of a wall feed picture would just be something like this, safe for work, but it's still very seductive. Obviously, the model's got very nice breasts. Profile picture. Now, this is also you, you're responsible. Um, I like to just have the model's boobs and it still have a homely feel as well, quite natural. Nothing of her on the beach or it's taken far away. I like to just have it quite up close and personal with the boob showing. Banner, now I can't really put this in the YouTube video, but this is just a bum picture. Could be a picture of your model in doggy, but once again, keep it safe for work. Don't be showing anything explicit. Or you could have multiple images in your banner and uh, of your model naked or whatever else and just blur, blur the nude parts. Intro video, make sure it's a high converting intro video and team responsible for this also should be you. Now your intro video, I recommend just highlighting something, um, you know, your model's key feature. So if your model's got big boobs, ensure that's obviously the whole point of your intro video. It's got a big bum, make sure that's the whole point of your intro video. If she's young, she's 18, she goes to college, include that in some texting your intro video, whatever you think a man is going to look at and think, yeah, fuck me, I want to sub to that model. But we're not going to worry too much about fan views, intro vid, don't get too hung up on it and try and make it exactly perfect because you don't even really get recommended on the discovery until your model is popping off anyway. 
making money. Now, it's all well and good driving a shit ton of traffic, but if I was to give you 10,000 subs right now, what the fuck are you going to do with them? I'm pretty sure you'd probably make fuck all, or you at least wouldn't be making as much as you could. So, you've got tiers. You've got you, you've got hiring chatters, and hiring a manager and a team of chatters. So, no commission, that's the pros. The cons is time consuming and you probably suck at chatting and chatting to people. This level is brokey, but this is where you're going to be starting off uh, just chatting. But don't get too hung up on the chatting. I tell this to all my members, do not worry about chatting too much at the start because that's not the goal. The goal isn't for you to be a model. The goal is for you to be an agency. I would not bother sitting here and just chatting to a shit ton of men all day. I'd definitely be focusing on getting the most traffic there and then hiring a chatter on commission. Pros, hire a chatter. Now, preferably you want him experienced because um, he's going to be better than you at chatting and this is just going to give you a lot more time. So this is the pros. The cons is a commission, but... I think the value for what you get from a chatter is more than worth the commission. And this is mid-level brokey. Hiring a manager and a team of chatters. So this manager is going to just be ensuring that your chatters are doing what the fuck they're meant to be doing. So you ain't even having to monitor your own chatter. You can hire a good manager who is going to take care of all your chatters. This is the best option. You're going to have the most time and it's going to be better than just having a VA, just one VA. You want you know a team, and that's the whole goal of running an agency. Cons, this may cost a bit more, but this is master level. Summary. So, you've learned how to make a model. Don't be brokey, don't be cheap, don't be lazy. More effort is a better model. Marketing, paid is a fast track. Organic is really good, just do it right. Instagram has your best value for money in terms of traffic. Fan view, make sure it's optimized. If it's optimized, you can have a better conversion. A better conversion equals more fucking subs. It's not rocket science. Next, make your money. You're gonna be make, making money with pace of views, AKA not safe for work images. You want chatters and then you want chatting managers. So this is the whole thing. The reason I say don't be a broker with making a model is pay the subscriptions, get the best software you can and yeah. And that is all. Um, and obviously I'm gonna plug in my course as well because why the fuck wouldn't I? Uh, this is everything that is included in my course as well. So. 10 plus hours of education that dive a lot more into detail than what I did in this video. Um, but I hope this video was helpful anyway. Uh, watch it back and um, yeah, just take your time with this game. Don't rush it. Make sure you're perfecting it, quality over quantity, like anything. Um, and yeah, so I hope to see some of you guys eat maybe inside or making a bit of fucking money out of this. Drop a comment if. You know, you've just started or drop a comment where you're at. Make sure you subscribe and like this video. And thank you very much for watching. Once again, I hope this was helpful. And I'll catch you in a next video. I'm going to be doing the 0 to 5K challenge. Um, I've already started my model three days ago. Uh, so I'm going to be posting a video tomorrow on that, on what I've been doing, how I've even got 1.7 million views and what my next steps are. So peace out and I'll catch you in that video.